Hey, what's going on? Yeah, man, it's Mr. Garfield here again, and I'm back with another KP Integrated Mathematics question. All right, I'm focusing on module one, that's Foundations of Mathematics, and I'm looking at how to convert between radians and degrees. All right, so we're doing conversion of degrees and radians, and we're going to do the first part of the question here, which says to convert 240 degrees to radians. Okay, so let's do part one here. Part one solution. Now, what do you know about radians and degrees? Well, something fundamental that you should know is that 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. All right, now the symbol that we use for radians is uh, C as the superscript, okay? Sometimes you may see pi R-A-D-S, that's also acceptable, all right? So 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. Good. Now, how would I convert from, from 240 degrees to radians? Well, let us find what is one degree. How would I find one degree from this expression here? If I have 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians, then I can divide both sides of this identity by 180 degrees. All right, let's do that here. So I will have 180 degrees divided by 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians divided by 180 degrees, all right? Great. Now clearly you can see that these two will cancel out, which will give us one degree, all right? So we're saying that one degree is equivalent to pi radians divided by, divided by 180 degrees, all right? So this here, this is something that you have to know, okay? So you have to know this. Good, and you see how, or you saw rather, how we just derived that, all right? So one degree is equivalent to pi radians over 180 degrees. Now remember that they asked us to convert 240 degrees to radians, all right? So what I'm going to do in order to change this one degree here into 240 degrees, I'm going to multiply by 240 degrees, okay? And if I multiply the left-hand side by 240 degrees, I also have to multiply the right-hand side by 240 degrees. Let's do that here. So I'm now saying that we're gonna have 240 degrees multiplied by one degree, and that is equivalent to 240 degrees multiplied by pi radians over 180 degrees. And we can write that as 240 degrees pi radians. All right. We can write it as 240 degrees pi radians divided by 180 degrees. Okay. Great. We can do that. Good. And remember that you have to do it to both sides of the identity because anything that you do on one side, you have to do to the other side, right? Great. Now 240 degrees multiplied by one degree is just gonna be 240 degrees, okay? And as it relates to the right-hand side here, I can simplify 240 degrees over 180 degrees by using my calculator, okay? So I'm going to bring up my scientific calculator Great, and I'm now going to simplify that fraction, that's 240 over 180, okay? When I click equal, I get it in a mixed number form, and I'm going to convert that into an improper fraction by pressing shift and then SD here, which is four thirds, all right? So that fraction, 240 degrees pi radians over 180 degrees can now be written as four pi radians over three, all right? So this is gonna be four pi on three. Good, 
and that is your answer. Okay. Now, how do you know that you are correct? Okay, so this is now our correct answer. But how do you know that you are correct? Well, we know that pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees, right? So you could use a calculator. This is really four. So four pi radians over three is really equal to four multiplied by 180 degrees divided by three, okay? And of course, if you do the mathematics, you will recognize that this is equal to 240 degrees, okay? So our answer is indeed correct. Great. So the first part of the question is now completed. I just now do the second part of the question where we are to now convert pi over three radians to degrees, okay? So this is now part two solution. Let's go down here. Part two solution. Okay, so we now want to convert pi over three radians to degrees. Let us start off with this again. We know that pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. Good. Now, how, how would I know what is one radian now? Right? If I want to know what is one radian, I will have to divide both sides of this identity by pi radians. Right? So we're going to have pi radians divided by pi radians, and that is equivalent to 180 degrees divided by pi radians. All right. So clearly these two cancel out. So we now have one radian is equivalent to 180 degrees divided by pi radian. Okay, great. And remember now that I want to convert pi over three radians to degrees, all right? So if I want to convert pi over three radians to degrees, I can do this similar technique that I was doing above, right? I will now have to multiply both sides of this identity by pi over three radians, all right? Because if I multiply this one radian by pi over three radians, then I will get pi over three radians here on the left-hand side of the identity. And on the right-hand side, I will have pi over three radians multiplied by 180 degrees over pi radians. All right, so let's do that. So we're gonna have pi over three radians here, and that is being multiplied by one radian, and that is now equivalent to pi over three radians here, multiplied by the 180 degrees over pi radians. All right, great. Now, what do you recognize will happen now? Well, if I multiply pi over three radians by one radian, I will get pi over three radians here on the left-hand side. But on the right-hand side of the identity, you recognize that pi over three, sorry, with the pi radians will cancel with the pi radians here, right? Good. So what am I left with? I'm left with 180 degrees divided by three. Okay, 180 degrees divided by three. And we know that 180 degrees divided by three is actually 60 degrees. So therefore pi over three radians is equivalent to 60 degrees. Okay, and that is my answer. All right, so that is how we convert from degrees to radians and from radians to degrees, all right? I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please ensure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, all right? I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.